Yo, what's up guys, I'll be here and today I have a brand new video for you guys and I'm going to be explaining the brand new update coming out for the global version. I will give you guys the release date, I'll be explaining everything that should be uh, released in that update and a couple more things that will be coming in the future for the game. So yeah, before we start with anything, obviously shout out, shout out to Codex Gaming. I knew, I knew that. Shout out to Alex, shout out to Brayden, shout out to Dante, and shout out to um, Aimbot. Uh, thank you guys, obviously again, shout out to those guys. If you want to be shout out in the next video, all you have to do is uh, comments. Uh, obviously, you have to drop a like in order to help the video out. It obviously uh, sends out the video more to more people because recommendations is how it works. That's the point of likes. And all of, obviously, um, do you become an active viewer of the channel by turning on your notifications if you are a viewer or if you are a subscriber of the channel. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it with that. Now, let's get straight into this update. And actually, by the way, before we start, I know I haven't been putting much pro gameplay stuff on the channel, such as full gameplays, highlights, and sniper montages. I'm actually going to do one uh, right after this video, hopefully tomorrow or the next day, so don't worry guys. Plus, I'm really focusing on the PWK right now, um, on having a really good, not, on, on, I'm just focusing on the PWK right now, that's all I'm gonna say, so yeah. All right, with the update, um, it's going to be released around the end of Season 2 and the beginning of Season 3, which is August 18th. Also, that's one of the days that the PWK Invitation will be held, um, if you did not know that. Uh, so it's going to be a really big day uh, when all that happens. Um, also, there's going to finally, and this is the biggest thing that people have been talking about, the end of Season 2 and the beginning of the uh, Season 3 Battle Pass. So there's going to be a bunch of new stuff you can get there. I'm obviously going to buy the whole thing, uh, max out myself and get all that stuff. Um, so yeah. Also, there should be the brand new map, uh, the Sandhawk map, which is the 4x4 map. Uh, it should be on classic mode and a lot of people are just going to be grinding on that map. There should be a brand new setup of the, I'm guessing there might be a brand new setup um, for the menu. I have since looking at the Chinese menu, the Chinese version menu and looking at the global version menu, they are different in what they look like now, but there should be some manipulations based on how the Chinese had set it up and the global version had set up since they're literally, they're both the same game, it's light speed. Uh, so yeah. Um, also, the brand new guns, QBZ and QBU. Now, the QBU is obviously not um, a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Uh, it's supposed to replace the Mini-14. That weapon should not be coming out this update and should be coming out on update 0 0.9. Um, but for update 0 0.8, they should be releasing the QBZ, which is a automatic assault rifle, which is... I hate the gun, <laughs> but it looks nice. It looks nice. You guys will have quite a lot of fun with that weapon, and it's it's pretty much everywhere. Um, with the drop rates on the new map, and actually it should be on every other map, it should be increased, so it's uh, easier to find. Um, uh, it should be easier to find a weapon, pretty much, and a good weapon, too, specifically on the Sandhawk map. It's impossible not to find a weapon. Uh, a customized crosshairs has finally been added. That's the one thing that I care about in this singular update. Uh, you can customize your two times, three times uh, red dot and hollow sight uh, crosshairs to whatever color you want, to whatever shape. Um, and it really can help you and benefit you in skills. Uh, so that's a really big thing that was added. The M24 will finally be a drop weapon. It will no longer be a crate drop weapon. And that's what I love because I've been begging for this. This is this is actually huge for me because obviously the M24 is my favorite weapon, um, and it should change how the game is being played. But the M24 is like impossibly hard to find. It's you can't find it. <laughs> it's 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 really hard to find. If you do, you, you find it. Uh, you can still find it in sniper training under bolt actions, as you normally do. Um, and you can also find it in sniper training all um, old snipers, um, but it will be harder to find rather than a car 98. So, yeah. 
Um, so uh, that should be pretty much it. Obviously, you guys know the normal things that are being added every single update. The new clothing, the new weapon statistics, they always manipulate uh, how good and how bad some weapons become after an update. Uh, just testing the weapons and seeing if there needs to be any weapon balance. Um, also, there should be a couple bug fixes if there's any. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it to this update. There is one thing that I do want to mention, which is competitive mode. Uh, that's pretty much uh, the classic PUBG PC put onto mobile where you have no bots, no perks, n nothing. All, it's just pure skill. And that is a mode found in the Chinese version. I do not know whether or not that's going to come out the next update. If it does, sweet because that's a huge mode that's best way practically practice to be honest except it is um an arcade mode so people are gonna hate on you just for playing arcade yet you're playing the hardest mode of the game so i don't know what to say about that uh although i, I just i don't really know what to say about it I don't know what to, I don't know if it should or shouldn't. I don't know if it's coming out next update. Hopefully it does because normally the global version tries to take just a bit of a different path than the Chinese version's path um, of updates, but we'll see. That's pretty much it, it to this video. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, again, full gameplay or whatever is coming.